Give me one or two with just the right hand, the right arm, the right forearm. Just take the right. And it's okay if you want to do it as you come through. Let your pivot a little bit because you don't have a left arm there. Let your, let your pivot help you through. This does require control of the right arm. A lot of people can't come close to even doing it. You're doing very well. That's it. Bug in the cup. So here, point it at me. Point the bug at me. And let's get the idea. That's on a plane. That is on a plane. You set that on a tabletop. And you take that whole unit down. It's still on a plane. Only now it's on an inclined plane. Yeah, see that? Isn't that nice? All right. You bend over more. Yes. And you have to be lower. Keep those right. Well, because here before you were up here and you, and you open up the right arm. Yeah. Your head, you have to come, that's the impact fix. That's impact fix. And that answers your question you said at breakfast. You might call, why do we do that? Why do we go to fix? Because that sets your head position. Woo hoo, wasn't that a nice one? Wasn't that pure? Sure. It was just pure as a driven snow. Show me again on the horizontal plane, it looks like. Here you go. Get that hand, get that hand over here. I always want to put it in front of me. Everybody does. Until you get oriented. This is where the hinge pin is. Oh, it's more like that. Yes, exactly. Mm hmm. That's impact pins. Yes, sir. Look at that. And didn't that feel like under hand pitch, motion yes. and feel? Completely under hand. Yeah. V2 N O. And you see, underhand pitch, motion and feel. So it's like that. Mm hmm. That's perfect. Yes, click. That's a three-dimensional impact. You can hear it down all the way down to the end. That's down, out, and forward. That is just perfect. I do a little bit of this every day. When I got started back playing golf seriously back earlier this year, I probably hit, this is a minute, probably 10,000 pitches for about 45 days. I go down with two bags, these shag bags, and about 75, 80 balls. And one of those you know, sacks, you punch sacks. And I'd make that trip four or five times. And I got to where you can get so dialed in, you can't believe it. I play games called holies and holies. How many times can you hold it? How many times can you hold it? The holes. And almost always, within two trips, I hit the pole at least once. Usually more than probably twice. Within three trips, I would usually made one. My best, now I'm talking about one arm shot? No, no, or no, just no. Right, no, no I'm talking, yeah, and I'm talking about making, making the shot in the hole. Yeah. And the marker was at 62 yards all the way back to 78 yards. So I'm talking about on average, it's called a 65 yard shot. And with three trips, my best day was making pulling it out three times. I mean, that's how dialed in you can get. When, you keep, when this thing here doesn't move, and you get dialed in and making this motion, I mean, it's, that seems like a little constant almost. But if someone puts out that water out there, you can get into it. Oh, look at, I got, look at that. Why, well, see that? Yeah. That's this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm going to do this. And that's how accurate you get. Guess what? You start doing that with your driver. We've got markers out there at 240, 250. I'm trying to make it hit the pole and have done it with a driver. And you're, that's how accurate you get with this sucker. 